Scheduling matches manually is the most complicated task when creating a tournament. In Rankton, we have an integrated scheduler that will simplify the scheduling and avoid the human mistakes which occur often during manual. Before you start with the scheduling, make sure that you've closed the sign-in and generated the draws for all of the classes within the tournament. It is also recommended to check the time settings before you start scheduling. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll just use the tournament I've uh, already added matches to. I explained how to create a tournament in one of my previous videos, and uh, you can actually find the link on how to create a tournament video within the description. This is the event homepage. In this page, you can only view how the tournament is set. For modifying the settings, you need to go to the event manager. You just click on the go to the event manager button. These are the classes for this tournament. As you can see, different playing dates are selected for all of the classes. These dates will be shown within the time settings. Let's see the time settings now. The first three dates are the playing days, set within the classes step. You can set different starts and end time settings for each day. For the second day, I have two available courts, so I will just set the courts per day to two. I will leave maturation and minimum break by default 30 minutes. When you're done, you just save the setting by clicking the save button in the bottom. We are ready to schedule now. Click on the 8 step matches and then click the schedule matches button. You can notice the info message that matches are being scheduled at the moment and uh, basically it can take like up to 5 seconds to finish but sometimes it can take a few more seconds if the tournament is bigger. Just reload the page and you can see the match is scheduled. Now you can see matches are scheduled with exceeded end times. This means that the time settings I set within the time step haven't well, haven't had enough time for all of the matches to be played. Let's see how the timetable looks. First day, as I can see there, there is no problem. Now, the second day, the matches are crossing the end time. The solution for this is adding more courts or expanding the end time. I'll just set the senior class matches to be played the last two days. All I need to do is go to the classes step and add the third day for the seniors class. Also, I want the junior class to play the final matches within the second day. I can set this in the time step in the advanced settings. You see, juniors play 4 rounds total, so I will set 3 rounds to be played in the first day and for the second day I will leave the rest of the rounds. It is one round in this case. I will set seniors class to play 3 rounds the second day and the rest to be played the third day, so it will be 4 rounds in total in the last day and I will set the amateurs to play the first three rounds in the first day, one round to be played in the second day, and the last round to be played in the third day. When you update the time settings, matches must be rescheduled so those settings can take effect. I'm rescheduling the matches now. Wait for five seconds and reload the page. I'm done with the scheduling, so let's check now how it looks within the type table. Here we see the advanced time settings I said before. Junior class, the orange ones are set to play 3 rounds in the first day and the final round in the second, so this is ok. Seniors class, the blue one, is set to play 3 rounds in the second day and the last 4 rounds to be played in the third day. This is scheduled good as well. And finally, the amateurs are set to play the first 3 rounds on the first day the fourth round to be played in the second day and the fifth round to be played in the last day. Now, this looks okay as well. You can see some names are like highlighted in blue. It shows that this player participates in two or more classes. If you need to change some match time, then you can drag and drop the match within the timetable on the time position that you need. You can also mark more matches and drag and drop them in the same time. If you drag and drop a match over another match, the current one is moved to the next time slot. You can drag and drop the matches even if the tournament is started. You must be careful with this though since there can be players that play in two or more classes and you can drag and drop the match next to a match with the same player. Looks like I'm done with the scheduling. I can publish the match time so the players can see the match time in their profile page. You can do it by clicking the publish matches. The Publish Matches button is not active now, it is because the draws are not published yet. You can publish the draws from the 6th step, Draws and click the Publish Draws button. 
Now go back to the 8th step, matches and publish the matches. The enter result button is not active because the tournament hasn't started yet. So after starting it, you can enter the result for all of the players from this page. The referee code button contains codes for referring the matches, but I'll explain you about this within my next video. Well, match is scheduled and published and you're ready to start the tournament. Go to the last step and click start tournament. If you need any help, just contact us and our support team will be happy to help you. See you within the next tutorials.